This is a video about the Common Core problem type situations. In this video, we're going to be talking about put together, take apart problem situations. The first situation that we're going to look at is a total unknown situation. So check out our story. Sammy walked into the kitchen. He was surprised to see two dozen eggs on the kitchen table and half a dozen more on the kitchen counter. He knew that his older sister Siri was going to make flan, which is a dessert, for the school bake sale. Maybe that was what all the eggs were for. You need a lot of eggs to make flan. How many eggs did Sammy see in the kitchen? Well, we know that he saw two dozen eggs on the kitchen table. So here's one dozen eggs. And now we have another dozen eggs for two dozen eggs and half a dozen more on the kitchen counter. So half a dozen eggs, that's six eggs. So two dozen eggs, that's 24 eggs and half a dozen eggs, that's six eggs. So we have 24 plus six giving us a result unknown. That's what we're trying to find out. How many eggs did Sammy see in the kitchen? So 24 plus six to give us our results unknown. The second problem type situation is an addend unknown. And it could be the first addend or the second addend. Check out our story. Manny took one and a half dozen eggs out of the refrigerator. He put them into a bowl that was on the kitchen table. Six of the eggs were brown eggs and the rest were white eggs. How many eggs were white? So in this situation, we know that on the kitchen table, there's a bowl and six of the eggs are brown eggs and the rest are white. But all together, we know what the total is. We have one and a half dozen eggs or 18 eggs. So that is an add-in unknown situation. We have six plus some add-in to give us 18 or some add-in plus six to give us 18. Another way that we can work this out is we could say what our total is and we take away one of those add-ins and that's going to give us our unknown add-in. That would be an 18 minus six. Our last situation is when both add-ins are unknown. These problems are great because there are a lot of different ways we can answer this problem. So listen to our story. Imani had one dozen eggs in a bowl. Some were white and some were brown eggs. How many white and brown eggs could Imani have in the bowl? So in this story, the most common answer that I hear from people is six white eggs and six brown eggs. And that could be true, but there are a whole bunch of other answers that we could have also because we don't know what the add-ins are. She could have 11 white eggs and one brown eggs. We still have one dozen eggs or 12 eggs. Can you figure out some other combinations that she could have of brown and white eggs? So in this video, we looked at put together, take apart situations. We looked at the total unknown or an add-in unknown or both add-ins unknown. In our next session, we're going to look at compare addition and subtraction problem situations. Have a good day.